530. It's taken nearly seven years, but Cincinnati City Council is moving forward with a plan to take to change a major road. Liberty Street could soon be six lanes instead of seven. Council members call it a safety issue. Angela Ingram joins us live with why there is some pushback from businesses in the area. Angela. Well, Paula, the plan includes adding medians to Liberty Street and also taking parking away on one side of the street. And these are some moves that some businesses in the area think could hurt their customers. Liberty Street was initially supposed to be a connector between I-71 and I-75 before Fort Washington Way was built. Some members of council say the street that runs through over the Rhine and the West End no longer needs to be seven lanes wide. Rothenburg School sits right at Main and Liberty and you have kids who are crossing a, essentially a seven lane highway every single day, twice a day. Council has looked at several options, but the one that the majority favors is reducing Liberty to six lanes with one lane on the north side for metered parking. The lane farthest south would be a sidewalk. The Budget and Finance Committee voted for it, saying the issue is one of pedestrian safety, but the impact on businesses and charitable organizations is a concern, including the Free Store Food Bank. As a business person, you can understand that the situation that we're in is that when we see that many families coming through our building and because it is a one stop shop for so many services, not knowing how I can direct my traffic uh, my trucks into that building is a, is a major detriment to us. Chatfield College talked about issues of parking and St. Francis Seraph Ministries has similar concerns. The six lane option will eliminate three parking spaces on the south side of Liberty Street. Twelve of those parking spaces are used almost daily by our volunteers who come from around the greater Cincinnati area. Council members think it'll make it easier for pedestrians and drivers, but the businesses say it's a change that could make it harder for the people they serve. It's just not safe. Uh, it's a, if anyone were to walk and try to cross Liberty, you can feel how it feels like you're, you're crossing 71. And Councilman Seelbach says that in the future, there are likely going to be some parking lots built, not only in OTR, but also in the West End with FC Cincinnati coming. But that would take roughly two years to happen. Reporting live, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Paula, back to you. It's a lot of change. All right. Thanks, Angela. The measure goes before the entire city council on Wednesday. At this point, it appears to have enough votes to pass, but we'll